Hello, welcome to the start of a brand new week. I am sorry to be a few minutes late, had a few technology issues this morning. I'm actually away from home at the moment, so working in a different place is always a bit strange, isn't it? But anyway, hopefully everything will work. Hi, Alison. Hi, Christine. Hello, Chris. Hi, Bev, Laurie, Kaz, Karen. Great to have you with me. Gosh, what, a, what an amazing day. What is it? Is it Freedom Day? Brilliant. Let's start the week. Well, I hope the sun is shining where you are. It certainly is where I am. I'm going to see if Facebook will work. Um, I actually had to borrow my son's phone to do this and we had to log him in. And I'm hoping, yeah, it says it's going to be the wrong way around. So hello, Facebook. I think I might be. <laughs> I might be the wrong way around. Let me know if I am sideways or not. If I am then I will come off it and start again. So please let me know. Hi, very nice to see you all. Um, I have got, yeah, I've got a few things which we're gonna chat about today. Being a Monday, I thought we'd do a Makeup Monday. Hi, Facebook, just to say I can see you on there. Am I the right way around or not? Because if I'm not, then I will come off it and I'll switch it around again. Um, I was just saying to our friends on Instagram here, it's been a little bit of a crazy morning. Mondays are always a bit, a bit crazy. Um, right, I have got, I think I've got Lainey Manning Facebook. So Lainey, thank you very much in advance for that. Everything that I talk about, we will be able to put links on Facebook, obviously, but we can't link on Instagram, but we do load that little thing called Linktree. If you head to the bio in Instagram, you'll see it. You can click on that. That's a little line of blue type. Um, and if you click on that, then lots of links will come up because I'm going to be talking to a fab female founder today. Grace is back with us from Studio 10. And this was so popular the last time we spoke. She's got some brilliant ideas on how to get the glow for summer really simply and easily. So as you can probably see, I'm not really wearing very much makeup at the moment because I thought I'd let her talk me through applying some of her products so you could see it in kind of real time what it looks like on the skin. Uh, so that's what we've got today. I'm also going to be talking about some other last call beauty ideas. And I've got lots of questions here that have come in over the weekend. So I'm going to be uh, chatting my way through some of those as well. Um, interesting. I am, oh, yes, lots of questions about makeup, which is good. I have popped some makeup tutorials on our YouTube channel. So I hope that those are good. If you let me know if you've taken a look at those. Um, some of you have asked for some more dramatic looks. So I've been doing some sort of quite basic makeup looks, really simple everyday things. But some of you have asked for some more dramatic looks. So I think that is something that I will be doing. OK, so I haven't heard anything from Facebook. So I'm assuming that all is well and that I'm the right way around. Yes, I hope so. Anyway, I am looking at my Google Docs, guys, so if you need to message me, then please do. So let's get going and see whether I can connect with Grace. She is the founder of Studio 10. And in fact, if you want to take a look at Liz Our Wellbeing, the website, we've got a new article. We do this thing occasionally in the magazine and online called Meet the Maker. It's one of my favorite articles actually, because it just goes behind the scenes to show a fab female founder. It's not the right way around, says Lainey. Okay, so we're gonna finish that. And I am going to try again on Facebook. So I'm gonna delete that one. Um, and, oh dear, I wish that technology was easier. Let's do live video, start live video. Okay, so, oh, no, it says rotate your phone. I don't want to rotate my phone. Hello, Facebook again. <laughs> I think I'm still not the way, right way around. Lainey, let me know. Um, sound isn't great either, apparently. Okay, so, I've turned up the sound. How is the sound? <laughs> is that better? Am I the right way round? Maybe you can talk to me on um, Google here through technology, powers of technology. So I have turned the sound up. I'm using my son's phone for Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts. Is it the right way? 
Yes? Let me know. Let me know. So I am not going to connect to Grace until I know that you um, think that it's all good. Is it all good? I can't tell. All good is here. <laughs> I'm very glad that's good on Instagram. That is good. Um, so still no, make sure the turning lock is off. Okay. So how do I do the turning lock? Turning lock, I've no idea what a turning lock is, honey. Tell me what a turning lock is and I can make sure it's off. Ooh, I think I've just turned the whole thing off now. Um, no, I don't know how to do that, I'm sorry. <clears throat> right, okay, so Lainey, if you um, swipe up and there's a padlock, make sure it isn't red. Oh, I hate technology. I can't do this. Anyway, this is... Um, Kit is going to have to come and put his face in front of the phone because it's a face ID. Kit! Hello. Can you just pop your face in front of this phone? <laughs> Pull screen down, there's a lock icon. You are live, by the way, to Instagram. But <laughs> what I need you to do, honey, is because your phone is... Or, or can you just do the code? Screen orientation on iPhone. Okay, Liz, I'm sideways. I know, but what I have to do now... Can you take it off, darling? Can you take it off... That there's a kind of like a padlock thing so that you can um, you can turn it sideways. No, I meant actually just take the... Oh, okay, padlock is off. Rotate your phone. You can't take rotate your phone while recording. Okay. <laughs> right, we're going to start again. We are going to get here. So come back to us. Okay, so what we have to do now, Kit, is I have to pop that on there. I'm going to delete that one. And then... Um, we are going to pop that back in its stand. Did it just live turn off? video. No, it was the wrong way round, sweetheart. There we go. Oh, That's sweet. what we have to do. Okay, so start live video. Look, oh, everyone's yeah. saying hello. Did you oh, see yeah. the picture of um, of Kit? Hopefully, that's the right way round. Is this the right way round? I hope it is, because we will start. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Apologies for the oh, slightly impromptu start, but we are we had to get the orientation right, and we're going to do that right now. So hopefully, it is. Bring them on camera. Yeah, this is Kit. I think they can only see. Hello. So this is Kit's yeah. phone. I'm doing it on Kit's phone. Yeah. Uh, you're the right way round now, but we can't hear you apparently. Okay. So the volume is turned right up. Can you hear? Is that any better? Can you hear? Is it just faint? Or can you um, not hear at all? Let me know. Because if you can't hear me at all, there's not a huge amount I can do about that. Unless you didn't put it on mute, sweetheart, did you? No, I don't think you can. I don't know. I no. Uh, why are you saying no on Facebook? Do you know? I think I'm going to have to... <laughs> somebody says no and somebody says yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh look, you're being wish good luck for your exam results, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, thank and you it's very much. fuzzy. Is it not worth doing? Can hear you, but it's crackly. Okay, it was vertical, now it's horizontal again. Right. Okay, so Facebook, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if you can get to Instagram, okay? Because I just think sometimes you've got to cut your losses and quit while you're ahead. So we know that it's working on Instagram. Maybe it's fuzzy because I'm away from home and the internet reception isn't very good. So I'm really sorry about that. If you'd like to go to Liz Earl Wellbeing, it's the Instagram for Liz Earl Wellbeing. Loud and clear on Instagram. Thank you, Mama and Nana. Um, so what we will do is if you can't, if you don't have Instagram or you can't go over there, don't panic because we will load it onto Facebook a bit later. Okay, so sincere apologies for the technology. We will get it onto Facebook, but if you'd like to join the live, then hop over to Instagram now. <laughs> I shall hopefully see you soon. Right, okay. So yeah, you get your phone back, but could you, could you stay offline? Because I need all the, the bandwidth here. Yeah, can you put it on flight mode or something? Yeah. We'll and please make sure your baby brother stays offline as well. Yeah, making omelets. You. You're making omelets. Excellent. What's going on the omelet? Yeah, I haven't got that far. Cheese. Cheese. There, there, there is some cheese. Cheese grommet. <laughs> uh, excellent. Well, there we are. So this is Monday, take two. <laughs> 
Yeah, Kit's super happy to get his phone back. So apologies and welcome to everybody who has come over to join us from Facebook. So uh, kefir, yeah, who's having kefir? I have mine this morning. <laughs> I'm glad it's all working here. I'm going to see whether Grace, yeah, here we are. This is Grace. Um, hi, Julie. Hi, Nikki. Yeah, Hilary, I try. I try and train them. You know, you can only do so much, can't you? He has, he has good days. Hey, Grace. Sorry, you're probably watching that huge debacle of, sort of trying to get everybody working well. So thank you for bearing with us. It was actually really comforting because I thought, <laughs> that's me. That's what happens to me. I hate, I love what tech enables you to do but I hate the tech. So I was like, oh, that's like me. That's made me feel so much better. And you know, the, the issue is when, when you go live with something, you can't test it. No. So, you know, you can set it all up and you can think it's all going to work and then you click that little live button and then for whatever reason. So anyway, we're here now and we're going to kick off a great week. Yeah, great it's weather as well. Great weather. And you're going to show us how to get the glow without getting sun damage which is really yeah. good and the piece that we've done for Liz our well-being that's just gone live on the website it has it's so kind of you guys and I love that you know meet the founder because behind yeah. every sort of independent boutique brand which you mm -hmm. were all those years ago is a real mm -hmm. person so it's really yeah. nice to sort of I'm excited and all the different questions it was sort of not just about the inspiration behind the brand, but about up close and personal about me as well. So thank yeah. you for Well, that. It's, it's good to share, I think, because, you know, I think women supporting women is really important. And I think, you know, anybody who is even in the slightest bit entrepreneurial or doing things on their own, you know, you just, you just need that support and that help. And I think, you know, there's nothing like female founders, I think, in brands, yeah. especially in beauty, because it's just so relevant to us. So yeah, you sure. started... Studio 10, and it's just become this extraordinary success. What, why did you start it, for those who missed our previous a chat? And, you know, you're very focused, aren't you, on who it's aimed at? Yeah, very. And the, the light bulb moment was, you know, in my late 40s, I didn't use the same skincare in my 40s, going into my 50s, as I did in, in my 20s, because... My skin's different. My needs are different. My skin yeah. has changed and it does age. Um, and I thought, well, why am I wearing the same makeup? And I thought there's something there. And, you know, I've been 15, 16 years in product development in the makeup industry. And one of the things that women told me all the time, because I was in product development, is mm. makeup's really confusing. It's intimidating. There's too many products, too many colours what texture, what finish, what ingredients. And I thought, you know what? We need to simplify this. We just need to make it quick and easy. And for me, what I was interested in was makeup as a medium to do a job of work. So we're not about fashion, get the look, get you know the season, celebrity look. It's like using two or three products to yeah. just for formulated for mature skin to completely just well this all. one that you you um introduced me to before i have used virtually every day since getting it the glowplexion blush absolutely so that it is one. just it's amazing it just goes on everywhere i haven't actually put on any on yet because i've also got this one and you're going to show me how to use the two so that's the bronze and yeah. I've also got this one, which is the one. And have you got one. this you one as that... well? Yes, and I've got that right. one, which I'm really excited to try. This so... is a brand new palette, okay? It hasn't even been touched yet. And your amazing brushes. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen brushes quite like these. Well, you know why? Half, I'm, even though I've been in product development, I am a real woman with a real life, right? So whether you're 18 or 80, how busy are we? We're not yes. going to spend the time doing our makeup every day. We don't have the luxury of having an amazing, you know, makeup artist. It's got to be quick. It's got to be transformational. And the other part of it with Studio 10 is this pro-age movement, not anti-age. And I always mm. say a little bit of makeup is the confidence that you wear on your face at a time where yeah. generally aging in society in the Western world is a negative, you know, because when you think of beauty, you think of youth. 
And I just thought, mm -hmm. so many women, what, you know, for me, it's like celebrating your age, wear it loudly and proudly, don't let age define you, yeah. and be the very best version of yourself. And you know what, makeup's so powerful to be able to, you know, yeah. enable you to do that. But what yeah. was interesting earlier on, I heard you and you were saying a lot of women are saying, you know, what about stronger looks or bold looks or... So for me, there's two parts of makeup. There is your day-to-day, -day best skin, gorgeous skin, a little bit of structure, definition, because we lose it as we age. So we were, I think it was Indian Night from the Sunday Times, said, you're like spanks for the face. And I was like, well, I don't want to be the underwear of the makeup world. It's hardly glamorous. But if you buy a beautiful dress for the season and you've got the wrong underwear on, it's not going to look good, and especially at our age. And I thought, actually, it's a really good way to describe Studio 10. And yeah. then you can add your colour look or your strong eye. And the other thing I get asked all the time, so we should do this maybe as a follow-up. Am I too yeah, old to have yeah. a smoky eye? No, you're mm -hmm. never too old to have a smoky eye. You know, am I too old to have a red lip? No, you're never too old to have a red lip. But a bit like clothing and hair, you have to switch it up. You scale it tweak it for yeah, and get your confidence get get your base yeah. right first and your confidence with it i should just say because i know that i can see lots of questions coming in here um we do have an, a fantastic 20 percent discount I with know. the liz loves so thank yeah. you for that yeah so and the other case, thing with i know that, people actually, want to get this and the other thing with that because there's two things one is um because I, I mean, I love you and everything you represent and your, your followers, your community. So for me to give that discount. But the other part of it is we have this 30 day buy and try promise. So, you know, you go into a department Amazing. store, you buy product and then it sits in your drawer because you don't use it or it's not quite right for your routine. And I just thought I don't want women to buy Studio 10 and it doesn't quite work. So use yeah. it for 30 days, like literally use it all up. And if you're like, no, nah, it's not quite right for me, or I'm not really gonna do it every day, send it back. That makes me That's happy. That's quite amazing. That sense? Well, do you know, I have been using this, I'm, my glow collection, I'm not sending this back. Where, <laughs> where do we start? Because I'd like right. to get something on my face. I'm feeling a little bit nude here. What, I'm just what, gonna, what am I gonna start with? Liz, can you hear? the streamer next door because i'm just going to close the window i can't can you guys okay. hear it it is live and it's real and we are at home <laughs> and the streamer always starts just when it you does. pass live it does um okay so this is how to get a natural trap tan so it's your Perfect. summer bronze that's what i want and your day to night look Right. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and it's interesting because you're going to test out a new product. Ooh, um, nice. so, bronze, right. And I'm a big believer, as I know you are, SPF, SPF. I use SPF yeah. 50 on my face. I wear big hats. But my mum was Portuguese and I catch the sun. I go in the sun and I catch it. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to match, you've got to create a natural tan on your face to match the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. right? So... You know I'm a big believer of liquid products. I really yeah. like liquid products because they fit much better with aging skin. Skin's much drier. And I'm not a fan of powder because powder looks like powder on the skin. It can be quite drying, quite mattifying, and we don't need any mattifying. We want dewy. We want radiance. Especially so in now, mm. I'm going to talk to you about a powder. Okay. Right. I've got mine. Creating... This is called Radiance Powder. Bronzing yeah. powder, radiant glow, bronzing veil. Wow. Yes. So the yeah. thing about powder is powder's very easy to apply quickly. The second thing about this one is it's a matte. Because when okay. you get a natural tan, if you look at my skin here, there's no shimmer, yeah. there's no radiance, there's no pearl. A true tan is quite matte. It's the products that you put on top. So that's okay. why I created a powder and a slight mattifying effect, not completely matte, because I want it to look like tanned skin, not like makeup. So, okay. and the one thing about this powder is it's super, super fine jet mills. It's refined, refined, refined. So even mm. though it's a powder, you can do this. This is the trick. Do that and rub your fingers together like that. 
can you see how super super fine and it almost yeah, that's extraordinarily fine it's not be able to see it and really the really fine the classic with powders, you can't put powder on top of emulsion. So if you're using a foundation or a tinted moisturizer, mm. you have to put powder on top. But what I wanted to do is have a powder to tan the face that I then could put liquid on top. So that's Ooh. how innovative this product I've, is. I've never seen that before, that you put a liquid over a powder. Ever 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 so but to get it it meant the texture had to be refined like jet so i'm going to put this on first yeah so this is the trick the first thing you're doing stage one is you're tanning up your face right okay. you don't even need to be exact so tap the brush so this is a, this is a great brush. brush this is a double ended brush so you've got one end and look at that it's kind of like, like almost a big fat paintbrush at that end <laughs> that's really if you want to do a little bit of contouring so the first thing we're going to do okay. is we're going to tan up your face so okay. big fat brush dip yep. it into the pan i feel like i feel like i'm on a, on a cooking show but tap dip it, it into the pan yeah right tap it because you don't want any loose powder yeah so the first thing you're going to do is a light veil all over your face and neck to tan it up so you literally do this Really? Just, yeah, just put it, because it, what you're doing is you're- I was nervous, it. I was nervous thinking I was suddenly gonna go orange, but no, not oh, at all. Now let's talk to you about orange, because we don't want that tango look. No. Color this. is so important. So this bronzer has, re it's a mix of red and brown, because you're creating a natural tan. You're not orange. Nobody goes orange when they tan. So, I spent so this much time. This is great. It's just, so you can put on as much or as little. So if you're really tanned, you just build it. So the first le level. Oh my goodness. Just tan up your face like this. And literally, so you just, you know, you would clean your skin, you'd put your serum on or your moisturizer and then this. Yeah, or your tinted moisturizer if you want a or little bit of coverage. Because mm -hmm. when you use tinted moisturizer, foundation, what that does is it evens the skin tone. You might use a little bit of concealer around the areas that mm -hmm. you need it. Then what we want to do, okay. it's summer, we want to tan. So the first stage is to just tan up your face. I am really liking that. And then you can put as much or as little yeah, as I'm you want. Go back. Now I've got a bit more confidence. I'm going to put a bit more on. I was a bit, bit wary at first. The pigment, the payoff is so strong. So it's really important to tap it. To tap to just it, get, yeah. get mm -hmm. off. So once you've done the light veil to give you the tan to match in with the rest of your body. Yeah. Then what I like to do is I like to go back mm -hmm. and I use this brush. Okay. When you That's apply good. bronzer, you know they say do a little bit of sort of bronze contouring. So just yeah. under the cheekbone. Oh, nice. Under the cheekbone. So I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to use this one still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that's your natural tan. Does this just come in the one shade? People are asking. Yeah, it's one because it's one universal. One universal shade. It sort of mimics the idea of a tan, and then. Depending on so it acts you. like sun on your skin. Yes, it does. And then it builds and builds. So the darkest skin, you don't need to, like my girlfriend's got beautiful, dark, rich skin. She doesn't need to tan her skin. Doesn't she's got a rich skin. But yeah. what she wants is she wants to add some warmth. So you got still you. need a bit got of colour and warmth on top. And then exactly bronzer. And I'm really, really quick. You, you, the second layer is about the high point. So under the cheekbones, mm -hmm. forehead. You know, they say do a little bit on the hairline. Because that's where the sun catches you, isn't it? Naturally exactly. up here. And a yeah, little bit down. naturally a bit warmer here. A little bit down the nose. And that's it. That's your ultra natural fake tan. Mm. And, and being, see, being a powder, this is going to give you a little bit of sun protection too, isn't it? Yeah. All I, mean, I, know, I know you can't declare it, but it's... No, you, you know, can't. It, and it, all, it is going to help. All makeup gives you a little bit of 
protection but I liked it. so in my uh, foundation we've got SPF 30 but I still use SPF 50 all year round on my face and I've tested so many brands and products because I get milia if I use products that are too oily it builds yeah, for the sure. yeah. Um, so I've luckily finally found one um, so that am I going to use this at all yes so that's a highlight because you know a lot of bronzing products have sort of shimmer and radiance you don't want to look like a glitter ball no. so I don't like <laughs> products that bronzers that have shimmer in them because that's a different look what I'm trying to do is create a yeah. fake tan I'm, I'm really loving this look you know Grace isn't really it just genuinely loving it yeah so beautiful my skin feels so comfortable and I just look a little bit healthier. I just actually look as if I've been uh, and got a bit sun kissed. Yeah, exactly. And we do need to match. What I like about it is mm. it's buildable without it getting thick and cakey. Mm -hmm. And because anything that yeah. cakes sits in fine lines, so it's my got skin a feels so smooth. I mean, I'm going to go on. Uh, hopefully, going away on holiday next month, and uh, I'll be taking this with me. It's a great holiday product. And remember to bring it down to your neck. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and then yeah. what you want to do is use a little bit of highlight. Okay. So I put this in a separate pan because where you mm -hmm. add color or definition, you want to lift and highlight. So it's a separate pan. It's a warm gold, soft shimmer. So it's not strobery, it's not glittery. And then again, yeah, nice. on your cheekbones. Just on your cheekbones. Okay, so I'm going to use that. End yeah, I brush. like this one because then it gives you a little bit more control. But look how subtle it is. You know, a lot of highlighters are so stroby, and we don't want yeah. that as we age. We want it to look like our skin, but natural, if that but makes sense. But just with a little glow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. actually, this is really quite nice. nice when you're to actually do eyes with as well. I was, just, I was just about to put some there. You read my mind. Because it's got to be quick and easy, hasn't it? Yeah. And it joins it together then. It means there's no kind of hard lines. So that is how to get ultra natural fake tan without putting your face in the, in the sun. And it, it is... Just take that away with you. That's just, yeah. just, just those two. Brilliant. And then stage number two, and this is the trick. Right. This is this is my little grace tip. Right. Okay. What you've done now is you've added that tan, but a natural tan doesn't. And even if you've used a little bit of the soft shimmer, we still need that complexion boost because yeah. a tan, because it's slightly more mattified, it doesn't necessarily boost the complexion. So then I put this on top of it. Now that is going to be revelatory no. to me. I've never applied a liquid on top of a powder because before. You can't. Well, because you'll you know can't, this. No. But that's why I've, I've developed this formula so you can mix and match. So I have to say, I love, love, love my plumping blush, glow plexion. I really it, genuinely love it. It's, I mean, uh, it's probably your best seller, isn't it? Yeah. It's, because I think when I really analysed it, we most women use bronzer or blush to add colour to the skin. And yeah. I was like, what do we need as we age, mature skin? And we need to add colour to the complexion. We need that healthy flush of colour. Mm -hmm. And we need a complexion boost because our skin's lacklustre and sallow. And I'm like, so it's not really a blush. And this... Really good. Yeah, it's really good. It is our number one. So with that, so do, you, do you use use your fingers with this? Do you? Well, I like to use my brush because I end do up you? with my makeups, and I find it quicker. So I always put a little bit on my hand first. Yeah. Because again, the pigment and the payoff is so strong with our products. So I yeah. dip a little bit with the brush, my double-ended face brush. So this is an amazing brush. You've got this one and this, I mean, look at the way that you've kind of made that. I don't know whether you can see that. Can you see it? It's almost like two tier. Yeah. It's bristles. A, it's basically a finger shaped. So you know you were doing this. Yeah, with my your, fingers. Yeah, so you can do it with this. It's finger shaped, that's why I developed it. So you literally, a little bit yeah, on the apple the finger. cheek. Apple the cheek. Okay. And then onto the cheekbones. 
That feels so nice on the skin. <laughs> it feels better than my finger, to be honest. And also you don't end up with sticky, mucky hands and if everything's handbag friendly. So, you know, if you're out and about, you just want to be quick, don't you? Mm -hmm. And then the other end. So I, I, I kind of feel there's no real rules. Rules should be yeah. broken. But there is one makeup, makeup, makeup rule, which is blend, blend, blend. Because anything that's... You sits, blend it with this. Yeah, it's a buffing blush, a brush. Buffing. Oh, I love that. You, buff, so then you, you buff it. Yeah, you blend and buff it into the skin. So it ends up looking like your skin. There's no hard edges. Okay, so I'm going to use the finger side. Just like I would pop it on with my fingers. And then blend it in really well with this one. Yeah. So it's interesting, isn't it? So mm. we, you've got a tinted moisturiser on or emulsion. You've now applied powder and mm -hmm. then you've now put a liquid on top of powder and it hasn't cut, you know, it hasn't, yes. it's phenomenal. It hasn't I'm so proud or, or anything. I'm, well, I'm not surprised because it's just giving my skin a glow. Yeah. And just heat. a lovely glow. And I'm so confident I'm actually going to pop a little bit more on. Yeah. And then you build it. So as a complexion boost, apple the cheeks yeah. and then guess what? A little bit on the forehead. Okay. A little bit down the nose and then this is beautiful actually through the eyelids as an eyeshadow oh my goodness it's that peachy nice. brightens the eye area yeah there's something about a little bit of peach around the eye that can it's... just look so flattering yeah. especially over that lovely luminous highlighter and then i like to loving that loving that I... I like to put a tiny little bit on my chin and I just bring it down onto my neck. The whole thing is just about having glowing, healthy skin, isn't it, really? Yeah, and that's what, you know, if you think about it as we age, and you know this from a skincare perspective, you know, we've got, our skin is lacklustre, we lose that natural radiance, mm. Sallow, it doesn't have colour. So, you know, we've got to even out the skin tone, then we want to add that healthy flush of colour. And so what about this one? Radiance. So this is a bronze version of that. Right? Oh, okay, so you've got the so, two different options. Right. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to be so for me, this is your tan in a pan. I've just made that up. Tan I love that. Pan. tan in a pan. So tan in a pan. So the, the beauty world talks about these little go day trays as pans or trays, yeah. don't we? So tan in a pan, love tan it. In a pan, and then you add a little bit of healthy flush of colour or radiance. So this is the peach, or you can have more of a goldy bronze. Perhaps more as well, it depends on your natural skin colour. I'm quite pale. So I would probably start maybe with this one. I might mix the two together, actually. Yeah, and you know um, what? I've actually got some women use both of these. So yeah, just I depends. Can imagine. I've, I've just blurred them together on my hand at the bottom. Mm. <laughs> That's quite a nice look, actually. Yeah. I like that for holiday. And actually, what's nice about the bronze glow collection, this is brilliant because you can mix it with a little bit of body lotion and Ooh. put it here and on I your legs. I love that idea, yeah. up on here. So it's a perfect holiday. Yes. Or you can put this on a little bit and then put a little bit of a flush here. Because I still like the peach to to boost. It's that healthy flush of colour. Does that it, make sense? It's the warmth. Better? Yeah, the, yeah the, the softness, you know, that the peach yeah. is coming through. So, yeah. Course, I love that finished. idea of, of putting it um, on, you know, collarbones, yeah. shoulders, or, even, I mean, even I like, shins. I like to mix it with body lotion, but even if you do, and I've done this, look, because it's a liquid, a couple of pumps. Yeah. And it just, because it's got that lovely gold undertone. And also the other thing, you know, when you tan naturally, you are a bit blotchy. Yeah. You know, you see these sun you do tend to catch it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you just, you need, so it sort of evens out the skin tone and it's got that lovely gold shimmer radiance. 
and it's brilliant on legs. Fantastic. Now you have also sent me a couple of extra little things here, um, which would be great to talk about because I love your pencils. Yes, so. And there are I, two pencils here. Talk me yeah. through these. So you now have beautiful summer bronze, yeah, glowing, really good. healthy skin, good to glow, holiday. And you're like, well, that's my day look. Now I'm yeah. going out in the evening. I want to, you know, just go from beach to bar, say. Right, so how do you do that quickly? Because you're not going to spend all day doing your makeup. So there's two ways, and I really like, eyeliner because I and our mm -hmm. eyeliners are very soft that you can blend and buff again into a bit of a smoky eye so I'm going to show you two quick eye looks and actually for all the ladies watching who were like oh how do we do a little bit more of a dramatic eye we can yeah. do the same day right great I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't actually see which will be a bit hard because I'm going to show you so the first thing is the dark we'll do one eye dark chocolate brown Okay. Eyeliner. So I love this. So this says, um, I lift long wear liner. Yeah. So, so one, thing about, one thing about Studio 10, and it's a big recommendation, is move away from blacks. Because I find black too heavy and too harsh as we age. Yeah. This is so soft. It's unbelievably soft. So soft. You don't want anything that's thick or drags or and then once it's mm. set it's it's tear proof it's tear proof it's Amazing. long lasting because you know what as we age we we get a bit teary and so yeah and things move around so, for sure <laughs> so i'm going to show you really quickly using the dark brown on one eye is line your top lash line just draw a big thick line okay. do you wear eyeliner normally i do yeah yeah on, on my upper lid, definitely. So, you know, okay. someone said about um, bolder eyes, you know, and I said, you know, I get asked, am I too old for a smoky eye? You're not too old for a smoky eye. But one of the things I'll say is trade the blacks and the greys and the pewters and do a smoky eye with browns. It's mm. much more flattering. So I like a little bit of definition very much into the evenings. Okay, so I've put my eyeliner on. And then just almost draw an, a little triangle on the outer corner of your eye. Sounds really dramatic. What, here? Are you going underneath? I need to put my glasses on. No, 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 I wasn't really going underneath. No, but that's right, because I go under as well. When I do eyeliner, I like to do a little bit on top and a tiny little bit at the bottom. Tiny bit, just on the edge, yeah. on the corner, yeah. Not all the way along, just that. And actually, bit. just that, look at the difference between your one eye yeah. versus the other. It just gives it a little bit more definition. And I actually use eyeliner every day, because my eyes are quite hooded, and I need that extra little bit now you then used a brush didn't you so i've applied it and then what i would do is on this i would get my brush have you got the little got a great brush so yeah there's a buffer at one end and then and i would just smudge it a little bit into my crease using this one using the yeah yeah Ooh, so it's yeah, just smudging once that's set, because it's so creamy, it's almost like an eyeshadow. And then once it's set, it's and I like to go into it? your creases here. Yeah. Just take it a little bit. And because it's such a beautiful soft brown. Yeah, it's just, oh, wow, that is really good. So you can do a whole eye look just with that one pencil. Absolutely. I mean, that's really amazing on you. And then the other end, you've got the creamy shade, haven't you? Yes, other end of the pencil. Let me look at that one. Yeah, here. What where, you've do got, this one? where you've got definition, you add light. So this is perfect to just highlight the brow bone. Oh, okay. This is such fun for a Monday. So with this pencil, you can absolutely do a smoky eye. You don't need all the palettes, the different colours. Mm. It's too complicated. The other thing you can do, if if you're 
you know, you've got a lot of redness around the eye and you're quite tired. It's actually mm -hmm. for the waterline as well. So you can yeah, put for here. Yeah. Takes away any redness, just wide awake, brightens the eye. That's such a good makeup artist trick. I know for photo shoots, Absolutely. always we'll, we'll use this color and just do a little bit of that because it just makes your, the whites of your eyes look brighter. Absolutely, it makes the eyes look much bigger. And most brightening waterline eyeliners tend to be white. Do you know that sort yeah. of, and you're like, well, that's so obvious. <laughs> the yeah. whole, it's, you know, like we talk about no makeup, makeup. I think Studio 10 is like no makeup, 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 makeup. Because yeah. I want someone to go, wow, you, have you been on holiday? You look. No, you just, you just look great. You just look like you any better. Yeah. But look at, look at that eye, how quick and easy. Yeah, and we've taken easy. it into a soft. And I could actually form. add more, you know, if I wanted. Yeah, I exactly. Add, add, add more, you know, build it up for the, for the evening. Exactly. Um, and this one that you've sent me, this is, these are different colors. So so, how, so, how would I use this? Okay, so this is the other thing. Sometimes we want a bit of color. And I think most women are nervous about color. Yeah, right? I am. Color on the eye or color on the lips. So I've created two colored pencils and this one is a beautiful navy. So if you've got very fair skinned and you've got really blue eyes, you might not want to wear a brown. So navy is beautiful, mm. beautiful. But for this time of year, because this is summer, on the other end is this color and it's called teal. And every single person can wear teal, regardless mm. of their hair color, their eye color, and their skin tone. And it's so beautiful. Look at that color. That's an amazing color. What a summer color. I'm beautiful. not sure if I'm brave enough to no, wear this. No, do it, I promise. Let's okay. see. So <laughs> where, 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 where am I gonna put it? How am I gonna do it? You're gonna do it on your other eye. <laughs> okay. And just put your top lash line, just draw a thin line all the way across the top. Okay. And that is it. Right. It's so flattering and so beautiful. And it's not that sort of, you know, when I think of makeup from the 70s, it's that bright pale blue and candy pink. It's a really yeah. sophisticated. You are so right. Isn't that stunning? That is really special. And I feel, you know, I feel kind of brighter and lighter already. I mean, it's so cheerful. It's, you know, it's not something I would normally choose. Funny enough, I do actually occasionally wear dark navy. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Dark navy, you know, even though I've got brown eyes, you know, and brown hair, it's not, you know, it wouldn't be, you think, not necessarily my first choice, but there's something quite sophisticated about yeah. a little bit of dark navy eyeliner, I think, on the upper lid. Yeah, for sure. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes a dark chocolate brown isn't for everybody. And I think the paler you go, navy, we've got a pewter coloured, like a dark charcoal grey is beautiful. And then if you want a pop of colour, we've got two coloured pencils, this one, which is navy and the teal. But what I, because mm. we were doing sort of sun kissed and glow, your summer look sorted. So much fun for summer. Oh, it's just. I feel like I should be on holiday now. I've got my yeah, I know. Flow. I've got my teal eyeliner. Yeah, we should be in Ibiza, sitting in a beach restaurant. <laughs> well, beach to bar, definitely. Beach to bar. <laughs> it's a good thought then, for a Monday. <laughs> and then, obviously, finish off with lip balm or a lip gloss, or but that's your beach to bar summer look done. And also, why I quite it. like eyeliner it's it's you're not what a you're not carrying lots of eyeshadow palettes sure i mean i love the fact that you can go away you've got this neat little thing in your bag that's going to do your foundation your powder your your sun look your highlighter everything love that brush super clever brush um and then you've got your choice or both of the glow plexion in the peachy and the the bronze with this amazing brush I mean, the finger and the blender. The thing is, you can, you can, all of our brushes are vegan, okay? And mm. so I worked generally, a principle is with powders, you need natural hair. 
and with creme products you need synthetic but because i wanted mm. to go vegan i worked so hard to find a synthetic which mimics a powder brush because it's yeah, it's so a synthetic they're so soft it's really that the, the hair is amazing but these you can amazing. do you could have what if if because they're out they are an investment but i love brushes i think they're quick and easy yeah. but if you just want i've got brushes that i've had for 30 years exactly you know they, they are an investment they are totally tools like i've got expensive kitchen knives that i've had for 30 years it's yeah. the same kind of thing it's your tool but you could buy one brush to do this whole look okay which one would you buy I would probably say the face brush because I use this for my foundation. I use yeah. this for my liquid products and I would use this for the powder bronze because I could use the finger to do my contouring okay. and I could use the other end to do my light. I think I'd, I'd want to pick up more powder with it. I love yeah. this. I love the weight of this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So... Yeah. For me, I'd get both because you could use them. They're the only two brushes that you need. And you can do your eyes with this. And even with the, the um, this eyes. Is, this, this is a great little brush. That's like the only eyeshadow brush you need. Yeah, because that you can blend. You can go into the contour. And then on the yeah. other end, if you wanted to really do a thin line, you can use it for the brows. Yeah I, yeah, I always like doing a brush powder through my brows just to thicken them up a little bit and just to extend it down here slightly. Yeah, because you know what? I looked at all, I mean, makeup artists have thousands of brushes. Yeah, they do. They have pots with like brilliant brushes. And for me, I was like, we don't need all these brushes. And I never understood why they're not double-ended because as you're applying, you turn it round, you buff it. Mm. And it, you just want to carry two brushes. That's it. Mm. You know, you mm. don't need hundreds of brushes. And, you know, the Studio 10 sort of concept is, well, I have 10 products when you only need one. So mm. once again, talking about this, yeah, yeah, I want a tan and I want lovely glow in my skin. But what about my body? I don't want to have a different... Yeah, I want to be able to pop a little bit here. I mean, that's, that's genius, isn't it? The fact yeah. that it does it. And the fact that you're... These, I mean, this one, I have to say, is such a winner. I'm quite struck with the teal and the navy as well, but the fact that you can do a smoky eye, that you can smudge that as a liner, you can use it as shadow, and then you've got your brilliant highlighter, which you can also use as a waterline and you liner. And you can Amazing. also, as a little trick, because the mm. thing is, day to night, you're doing different things every day, but in the morning when you wake up, you want wide awake eyes. You need definition yeah. because if you've got hooded eyelids or you're you need a little bit of definition so i now use that brown eyeliner every day because i need that definition but you also want yeah. to brighten wide awake so yeah. with that mm -hmm. another little trick is from the inner corner you know makeup artists put a little bit here yeah put a dot here sometimes a dot. but do this right from that inner corner yeah just draw it out on your top lash line, halfway, maybe a third of the way along. Can you see how that absolutely brightens? It depends how much eyeliner you put yes, on. Yes, I totally see it on you. So it's just a little trick to brighten the eye. Highlight the brow. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love all these little tricks. And you know why we're different? All these little tricks. I think it's all the years in product development, working with makeup artists. And it's like, what do I need as a mature woman? Yeah. How am I skilled? What are the tricks of the trade that is going to... And it's not about looking younger and 20 years younger and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's about, about looking put, well. Looking well, feeling confident. Mm. And I always say this, you know, because I have lots of women go, well, I only wear makeup when I'm going out. And I'm such a believer. I'm so passionate. I'm like an evangelist about wearing makeup every day. And people are like, but why, if you're just cleaning the house, why do you wear makeup? And I always say, A, it's the confidence that you wear on your face. But when you wake up in the morning and you age, when you wake up in the morning and you look at, you feel tired and you look in the mirror and guess what? You look it. You yeah. look tired, you've got dark circles, we've got more pink coloration, discoloration in, my, in our skin. The good news is you don't need to look tired. You can look like you've had eight hours sleep. 
So why wouldn't you want that? Yeah, absolutely. We're being asked about the teal colour. I think online, is it called C? Yeah. O three, 3 yeah, it is. Yeah, somebody was just looking online. O three 3 is C um, and the Navy. Grace, thank you so, so much. It's always such a pleasure. You've started off the week really well, how we mean to go on, I think. We've got the weather for it. It's like the perfect, perfect. time to do summer makeup. Perfect. And I hope that everybody will go over to the website, the Lizard Wellbeing website as well, and read your story, meet the makeup. Oh. Yeah, and then it just brings it to life. Questions. You know, we're always yeah. happy to answer them. So, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you for bearing with the technology at the beginning, sending you big hearts, lots of hearts coming up for you here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have to click off, I think, otherwise I click everybody off and that wouldn't be yeah. so well. See you. Take care. <laughs> See you again soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, my goodness, what a great way to start the week. New, new little treats and tips, and I hope that you found that interesting. I certainly did. I think Grace is about to leave my screen because I've got a couple of other just quick things for a makeup makeover Monday, just to remind everybody of. Hopefully, not quite sure. Grace seems still seems to be on my screen, but maybe she will refresh it. There we go. Excellent, Susan. You're going to try the tutorial. Do you know, you know, you say you're hopeless, but look at that. That is so easy. So, so easy. So foolproof. That's what I love about all the Studio Tan products, actually. You know, they really work. I get sent an awful lot of stuff to try. And, you know, very few things actually make it into my own personal makeup bag and stay there. And I have to say that, you know, this has stayed there. The Glowflexion. I love her pencils. Um, this is definitely, definitely a winner. I think the navy looks great too. I, I must make sure I even up my eyes before I go out later because I've got odd eyes. But before I go, do you know something I was trying this weekend? You may have seen me talk about it with Lily and that was her new gadget. And I just wanted to show you because she was talking about it, the neckle, the neckle ray. And I didn't have one, but she's lent me one. Um, just to kind of trial, and this is what it looks like. Starting the neck array, Starting the neck array red mode. So look at this, and you wear it. And I've been wearing it at the weekend, and it's just yes, there is a discount. Yeah, so Studio Ten, it's Liz Loves, all in capitals, the usual. That gets you twenty percent off, which is really good value. Um, but look at this. So you can just walk around. You can wear it. It's you know you can use it. I actually used it on my hands as well. What I love about it is it's also, it's really comfortable, um, but it has all the settings. So the red is the aging, and then it has the, if I tap it again, where am I tapping it? Uh, here, where am I tapping it? Maybe I'm tapping it there, blue. So blue was the one that's clarifying and really kind of a clearing for kind of pimple prone skin. Pink, that's anti-inflammatory. So that's the rosacea, the eczema, the um, psoriasis, you know, areas of inflammation or scarring. Um, and then you turn it off. Isn't that great? Yeah, Devin, I can wear it with the face mask. So basically I tried it. Obviously the face mask kind of comes down to here, which is good anyway. This comes down a little bit further and it's 360, so it's all the way around. And yes, I tried it out got my mask here, just take the cover off. Um, and yeah, absolutely, the two do sit together. I won't do it up because I'm gonna take it off. But yeah, so amazing. So well done, Lil, I'm not sure if you're watching this, but I am very, very impressed. Um, and it is, because it's obviously a lot smaller, it is a lot cheaper than the face mask. So you could potentially start with that, or if you've got the mask, and you just know how good it is. Um, she has given us the Liz Loves. We've got 10% on sellreturn.co.uk, but at the moment they have also got super low prices, so they're already on sale. So it's a double sale. Um, and yes, yeah, so I, I was just sitting watching TV and I just have my hand under here, just because, you know, the backs of our hands, they age, don't they? So I was just thinking that's such a great extra use for it. And um, she's also, not only is there the double discount, but they also are giving away a free little sonic cleanser. You can't tell, but that's actually vibrating. 
great, isn't it? I think these are normally about £40 and they're giving these away as well. So it's a really good deal. I know these things are very expensive, but if it has been on your wish list for a while, um, I know that she is looking at this uh, instalment, payment by instalments, which will happen, but it's regulated by the FSA, the Financial Services Authority, and because they're a new company, they just have to wait a little bit, but they have applied, so it will be, it will be happening. Um, something else that I know you are loving, seeing as it's talking about beauty today very quickly, it was lovely to chat last week to Jenny, my old friend Jenny Sharp, who is now working with Percy and Reed. Lots of you are loving the strengthening shampoo and conditioner, specifically formulated for thinning hair that needs strengthening. So we lose hair as we age, it can be hormonal change, it can be stress, it can be medications, lots of reasons why our, thin, our hair might become thinner um, and start to fall. Well, the strengthening shampoo and conditioner I've been using, I am super impressed with it. I'm super impressed also with the scalp concentrate. You just use a little bit of this, and this is the one that I've been using here. This is with the white lupine extract, and as Jenny said, you just pop a few drops onto your fingertips. And I've been looking at the science and the botanical trials behind this, and it definitely stacks up. So it's, um, it also smells great. It's really fresh and it's quite, um, yeah, it's just invigorating. Love it. Yeah, I used the shampoo conditioner yesterday. Yeah, what did you think? Love to know. Love the smell. I think the smell is really good. And my hair definitely feels thicker. You know, I haven't got any styling product in it. I literally, it's just washed and I just, you know, kind of left it because um, I'm in slightly kind of holiday mode, uh, but it's definitely feeling thicker and stronger. And the clinical trials that they've done, I think after the first application, it improved hair strength by six times or something. So if you're somebody that has issues with very, very fine thinning hair, then and you want to give it a bit of extra oomph, particularly if you're using hair dryers or heated hair styling aids or you're color processing it like mine, you know, I've got so many highlights in my hair now. My poor hair does need a little bit of, um, a little bit of R&R &R now and then. Just before I go, um, just to remind everybody, another little beauty treat here, and this is a free one. For subscribers to the magazine, you get the free full-size BFF. So this is the Dr. Lip product. I love it. It is just two ingredients. It's medical grade lanolin with coconut oil. Lovely for the summer. You can use it as a lip balm. You can use it on stray hair ends. You can use it as a skin salve. Actually, it'd be quite nice, you know, mixed with a little bit of that glow collection, wouldn't it? Um, you can use it. I've been using it on cracked heels, feet, overnight. I've been doing hands and feet treatment where I've been putting this all over my hands and feet and then popping on a pair of cotton gloves or a pair of cotton socks and just sleeping overnight. And honestly, you wake up with the softest, the softest feet. It's great. And hands. Um, so anyway, so that you can obviously, you know, you can go to their website and buy it separately. It's 18 pounds, um, but they are giving the full size free with every subscription to Liz L. Wellbeing magazine. So if you'd like to subscribe or you'd like to get a gift subscription, perhaps for somebody that you care about, um, then yeah, I think that would be a really good time to do it while stocks last, obviously. So that is it for me for today. I'm gonna to be with you uh, live on Wednesday. I'll be back in my studios, hopefully on Wednesday, with tech that is working. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna be joined by Julie Ford from InStep. So if you want to grab your InStep, resistance we're going to be talking fitness and staying strong we've got so much to talk about in terms of exercise and supplements that can help and all of that that can help shape up and tone up and all of those things and um, she has got the, her resistance bands back in stock not huge numbers but she has got some and i think we have something like an 11 percent discount uh so that is over on instep so that will be on wednesday so i hope you will join me back here on Lizzo wellbeing we will obviously do our very best to get back onto facebook as well properly the right way round. thank you so much thank you for all your lovely comments yeah do message studio 10 if you've got um questions on the makeup so Oh, where do we get these products? Which one, Mary Mugo? Which one? So we've been talking about Studio 10. I will upload this in just a second, so it will be on the Instagram grid, so hopefully you can replay it. Anyway, sending everybody lots of love. Stay well. See you very soon.